Welcome back to Orange Nation Artist of the Day. System of a Down. I don't remember why. I'll, I'll Google it again. But System of a Down is our Artist of the Day today. All right, let's go right to our guest line and bring on uh, the head coach of the SU men's lacrosse team, Gary Gate, joining us. Uh, 3-0 and start, Coach. Uh, congrats. Uh, out of the gate quickly here. Uh, you've looked sharp here early on. What stands out to you from these first three games? Well, I think that, that, that hopefully we're just uh, getting better and we're developing our chemistry and we've gotten the job done. And I think that's the most important thing is, is the fact that we have come out on top in three games. And it's, it's certainly a different feeling than last year. And uh, we'll find out where we're really at you know, come this weekend. You know, we had uh, somebody call us the other day on our show and ask us why uh, why play the two games in the span of three days, you know, early in the season. Can you speak to that a little bit about putting the schedule together the way that you did and, and why play Albany and Holy Cross in the span of 48 hours? Well, I, I, there's a couple things I wanted to get done. I, I you know, personally, I've always, I've always, I still remember my senior year when I played 100 years ago. And uh, we only played ten regular season games, and it was it was so you know there were so few games it was kind of disappointing for a senior year. So it was my intention to, to add some games to the schedule when I took over as coach, and now we're up to fifteen regular season games. So you know, as a player, what, what there's nothing better than playing games. So that that's the first thing. The second thing was. I knew we were going to be a young team, and I wanted to get some games in and get some experience, uh, you know, early and see what we were really all about. So I think we accomplished that, and, and now we go into a tough four-game run in our season um, that's, you know, against all ranked opponents. And then we get a little break for three games, and then we do it again to, to end the season. So strategically we tried to, to set the schedule up where we're not playing a ton of midweek games and we kind of get this out of the way early and and learn more about ourselves all right well so uh, good yeah we'll we'll talk about that maryland game here in a moment and, and get your thoughts on the terrapins but i do want to circle back to a couple of individual performances and performers that we've seen to this point let's start on defense with your new goalie uh will mark the the transfer out of, out of liu and you know we we were hearing good things we had rick beardsley on our show right before the season started and he was like listen guys this guy's pretty good in net um He's he's been great so far. I mean, what can you tell us about Will Mark and and what is his uh, potential in a Syracuse uniform? Well, we love Will. You know, right now after three games, he's sitting at seventy percent save percentage, which is you know All American goalie of the year type numbers. But again, we haven't played ranked opponents, so that's coming up, um, and we'll see how he does there. But you know, our goal was to try and get a goalie to get us to fifty percent and. Uh, you know, it's looking good with Will, and we think the future's bright. And we got, you know, this year and next year with him, and, and we're looking forward to having him. Joey Spolina on offense, uh, obviously top-ranked recruit in the country, and he came here with so much uh, in the way of expectations and so much in the way of hype. And then, you know, first game he scores a goal, but everybody's talking about one goal on 15 shots. And and then what does he do? He turns around and uh, back-to-back games with five goals on seven shots and uh, throws that inefficiency, uh, you know, out the window. Uh, what did you see out of Joey, I guess, in uh, in the, the first game that, you know, he learned from, I guess, and, and uh, was a lot better? in games two and three yeah I, I think you know you know it's, it's a tough situation you know you dream of playing in the dome and and you, you imagine how your first game's going to go and unfortunately it didn't go perfectly i thought he actually played pretty well and got some great shots off um but you know we, we talk and sometimes when you you're trying to make things happen it, it's tough but I think what he's done is he's gone back to just doing what he does, and that's playing lacrosse and taking advantage of the opportunities when they're given to him. And you can see what what he produces when he does that. You know, you know, from one one for fifteen to to ten for fourteen. You know, fantastic. So um, his future's bright. He's uh, certainly a huge part of our our team and. 
we're looking to forward to watching him even gain more confidence as he goes. It, you know, we're, a lot of us are going to be talking about you know Joey Spillina and, and the youth on this team, and you mentioned young team this year. Uh, I, I do want to ask you about the veterans, though. A guy like Owen Hiltz back after missing last year with, with injury, and a local product in Griffin Cook who, who you know made his presence felt in the last game. Um, how is the, the veteran leadership on this team, and how important is that veteran leadership, especially given how young some of the pieces are? Uh, it's definitely been instrumental. You know, it was key. The players that did come back, um, they came back and they were dialed into the new standard here at Syracuse and raising the level of play and, and behavior and everything from top to bottom. You know, we made a lot of changes last year and the guys that did come back had all bought in and wanted to be leaders and help turn this program around and they've done a great job so far and uh, I'm super glad they all decided to come back and stay here and, and all, of, all of the above because they're, they're leading this team pretty well so far. All right, let's look ahead now to, to what's next, and it's a, a really tough task. Uh, Fourth-ranked uh, Maryland Saturday, 1 o'clock, and as you said, this starts a stretch where you've got Maryland, North Carolina, Duke, Johns Hopkins all in a row. Uh, let, let's start with this Maryland team. What, what are you expecting to see on Saturday? What do you know about them at this point? Obviously, it's a, a university you know awfully well. Yeah, well, I worked there for nine years and, and spent some time down there. But, uh, you know, they're the, they're the standard the last – Five, ten years, they've been the team that's been consistently going to Final Fours and, and much like the old days of Syracuse. And, um, you know, they, they look a lot different than they were last year when they went undefeated. Uh, obviously, they're not undefeated already early in the season. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to the game and an opportunity to hopefully uh, pull off an upset. You know, like we would, we would love to go down there and play our game. It would do tremendous things for our, our young players and our program to know that we can go down and compete with the the standard of, of Division One lacrosse. So um, it's a it's a huge opportunity for us, and we're we're thrilled to have it. All right, last question for you. You you mentioned that there is a different vibe around this team than than there was last year, and I know that. Um, you know, you have a certain standard. Syracuse lacrosse has a certain certain standard that, you know, you, you guys didn't meet last year. Um, do you feel excited, I guess, about this season and about the future, you know, given where this program was when you took over and, and given the vision that you have for, for where you think it will be in the not-too-distant future? Yeah, I, I'm excited. You know, I, I think that's a, a good word to use. I'm, I'm thrilled and excited to watch this team, you know, Knowing the players we have coming in next year as well, it's just like this is a, the beginning of something good. So we're just hoping that we can execute, um, play our game, and come up with some wins in, in these next four games, and and be a part of the conversation. You know, come come May. So um, that's our goal, and uh, you know we're trying to get better every game, and it's. It's going to be a tough year. We've got a tough schedule ahead. Uh, no doubt. And, again, uh, game time set for 1 p.m. Saturday on the road at 4th Rank, Maryland. Uh, Coach, thanks so much for, for the time. Great start. Congrats on the start. And we'll talk to you again uh, real soon. Oh, thank you, and we'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it. All right, there he is, the head coach of the SU men's lacrosse team, Gary Gate. Off to a 3-0 and start, Polly. Good job, Steve. you have anything to add? They're three and zero, Steve. They that's, are. That's the best start you could have if you played three games. They're three and zero, but they've looked good doing it. You know, and I think that that is important. You know what else looks good, Steve? Uh, our food today. Yeah, from Rock, Rocky's Pub in Liverpool. That's right down the street from my house. Uh, they've got karaoke this Friday, live music Saturday, the Daytona Five Hundred Sunday, wing specials for all of uh, the games that the the the, the basketball team plays. $20 bucket, four beers, 10 wings. That's pretty good. And their fries are legit. 50 cent wings, Mondays, 5 to 10. Pub burgers. They brought us a pub burger in wings, buff, buff a parm is what it's called. Yeah. I got the burger in front of me. And, uh, Jordan's I've already, got a burger in front of him. I, I, I already uh, snuck a couple of fries. And I'm being trying honest. to diet. And I eat. Oh, is that why you gave me the burger? You yeah, being, I ate the cookies. You weren't being yesterday. nice? You were I just, ate the cookies. Oh, you did. Okay. I'm so, 
I'm sad. I say <laughs> I'm <myself>. sad. <laughs> they had those damn uh, yeah, the the pink moons. and white half moons because yeah. it was Valentine's Day and I ate I ate a cookie. Yeah, that's okay. No, it's not. I'm old and squishy. <laughs> Well, their fries are really good from Rocky's Pub. Uh, all right, we're going to hit a timeout. 315-437-7644. We are back after this on ESPN Radio.